Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torn. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Way of the Hunter on the PlayStation 5. So I did track down those deer, and they are not white-tailed deer, it looks like. Oh. They either heard me or saw me. <laughs> They're looking at me. What a nice family. Then I'm going to try and end the life of the father. All right, so we're going to go at 109, and we're going to try and shoot this deer. It's a mule deer rather than a white tail. So, uh-oh, he's on the run. So we hit him, and I really don't think that's going to do the trick, guys. He was on the he was on the move. Is he did he run to the right with the rest of them or was that him on the left running oh. forward? You talking about this one here? No. <laughs> one uh, like ran off that way. Oh. Yeah. Damn. They split up. I thought he ran this way, so I mean he could have, but I, I didn't see any antlers in that herd that was running. Oh really? Maybe they have a rendezvous point. Yeah, <laughs> they have a range or whatever. I mean, we just need to find the blood, really. And then we can confirm whether it went this way or not. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So we got the shot. It wasn't a good shot. It was moving, guys. Uh, they were on the move there. So it's kind of a shame. Because, yeah, I don't know if we're going to get the kill now. Yeah, hard to say at this point. Yeah, um, like the dirt. We need to figure out where the blood is and then try and, you know, track it. That's really the only thing we can do here, guys. So we'll kind of come down here where we where we think we shot it. And we're not look. we can kind of sprint around at this point because we're not looking for other critters. Uh, we're just looking for the blood trails. Again, it's kind of difficult to see the blood in this game. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in Hunter Vision... You can see here it's not clear. We know we hit it. There's something over there. That might be blood. Yeah, like all the little glowy things kind of blend in. That's the blood. In. So I think it did go where I thought it did, Jinx. So we should have been did sprinting. I think we should have been sprinting over there. I mean, maybe not. I mean, there's something this way. But yeah, I mean, I don't really know. I felt so confident I knew which way to run. And now Jinx has got me feeling not so confident. <laughs> yeah, because I thought he ran that way with all the other ones. All right, well, here's the blood here, Jinx. So I feel like you're leading us astray. Yeah, I feel like he did run with what? all the other ones. That doesn't sound like something I would do. Yeah, I think you just kind of <laughs> probably resulted in us losing our our prey. We should have uh, we should have just went after it. I should have went with my gut. I felt pretty confident he went this way. All right, so we found his blood right there. So we can just try and fo you know keep following the blood trails, but it's not easy to do. So yeah, we have the mule deer tracks here. Again, it's just so difficult with this vision here, guys. There's something over here. Yeah, I feel like the vision isn't great. Yeah, I mean that was one of the nice things again with the dog, is that it felt like you know you're not gonna lose. He pooped himself. Yeah, might have pooped himself. It says it's fresh. There's his blood right there. Okay, so we're continuing to find his blood. So we're just kind of looking from blood streak to blood streak. It seems to be the way to to do this. Yeah, there it, it is again. To, at least he seems to be bleeding quite a bit. Yeah, I feel like we're on his trail. He probably hit the heart. <laughs> well, remember, this is not the deer where you're trying to get the, oh, the that's heart from. Right. This we is the white tail. Yeah, I just shot it because we we had it, so we wanted to kill something. Yeah, and we'd already been tracking it down. I'm not seeing the next. Oh, oh there it is, right there. there. Is. All right, so there's the next blood trail. God, this is difficult. Mm-hmm. Yeah, again, that's that one thing I really liked about the other game. Is that, you know, again, you, you just always knew you are going to most likely find uh, whatever you, you were searching for. The dog kind of led you right to it. Now, sometimes the dog did, you know, lead you astray. Let, left you the wrong way. Uh, or led you the wrong way. But um, it's not like this. Where it feels like, I have no idea. That's why I really wanted to kind of follow him. Where we could still kind of see him and hear him. 
but then we kind of meandered over there looking for the the blood trail start so are there settings for the hunter sense there is um but there's no settings that are going to make it like easier at easier all? they make it they make it harder um oh. so like if you want to turn all this kind of stuff off because you're like i don't want any of this in my game uh then you can go and go to the game go to the hunter sense and then just turn everything off so if you don't even want to use the hunter sense or you only want to use certain parts um you know same thing with the scope information oh. all this so you can kind of just play like if you don't want it to tell you what kind of poop that is <laughs> like you just want to figure it out on your own because you really know animal poop then you <laughs> can do that we haven't seen a blood trail in a little while guys i feel like we kind of lost it we lost the trail so i don't know which way it went kind of a shame yeah i feel like we needed to follow it as it was running and then um yeah jinx distracted us sorry I ruined it. <laughs> maybe i can come back and find the trail again guys but yeah i just it's really difficult the hunter vision is i don't know guys like there's a track right there oh there we go there's a blend it Found all it. feels very legit for sure yeah I mean, You're not holding your hand. No. Oh, we found white-tailed deer. The sound of white-tailed deer. So this is actually what we needed to hunt. And they're spooked. Probably because um, I'm moving too, too loudly. They probably. I'm sure they heard the other deer screaming. Oh my god! It's a fucking hunter. <laughs> Yeah, we'll kind of creep along here, guys. And again, when you're doing the creeping, you know, you can keep the uh, the hunting sense up. It's the only way to, to move while the hunting sense is up. So maybe we'll be able to see that blood trail. What I'd really like to be able to do is head towards the white-tailed deer while also following the blood trail. But I'm not sure where the next blood marker is. Yeah, I'm not either. Mm-hmm. And he's probably like miles away at this point, so yeah, so it wouldn't even matter. Even if he died, we probably would not find his corpse. I mean, I guess if you kept following the blood, you'd eventually find it. I think um, if you injure him, then they gotta like rest up and stuff. So like eventually they'll head somewhere and then like go sleep or whatever. Does so that allow you to like get to them and finish the kill? But not if you're like completely lost and unable to find their corpse or able to find them for a long time uh, as we are right now all this creeping around makes me think that there's like something dangerous out here like a slenderman <laughs> <laughs> all right see that's kind of a bummer uh because I'm, I'm not seeing any more blood but you know what we we thought we had lost the blood trail before and we found it eventually so yeah we're just gonna wander up here and maybe we'll find the uh, the white tail instead. Now, I feel like we if it said they're spooked, I think they probably ran off. Yeah, I would think so. If they're smart and spooked. Mm-hmm. And yeah, when you move up like this, it's just so so slow. I don't know how anybody can play like this. Not just for like a let's play, but just any time. I'd be playing on my own. Like there's no no camera on or anything, and I just feel like it's just so slow. But I don't have the patience to be a hunter. Which is why I don't go hunting. <laughs> and I also don't particularly like hanging out in the wilderness. I like going hiking. Yeah. Yeah, just go out there hiking. Climb. I like mountain climbing and stuff. Climb big old rocks. I find that enjoyable. But yeah. I've never uh, been one to hang out in the forest for a day. I don't like camping. I love camping. I haven't been in... Um in my adult life though so yeah so i mean i probably feel differently jinx says she likes camping i would probably still like camping you know the army ruined camping for me <laughs> i think we've True. talked about this in the past series I, I liked camping before you know i was a city boy so it's kind of like a fun different thing mm -hmm. so far out from my typical life just being out in the wilderness so yeah it was kind of fun it felt like something from a movie you know like, I watched all those action movies, Arnold out in the jungle and stuff. Yeah. Playing Predator and stuff. So, yeah, I liked uh, being out in the wilderness, but the army absolutely ruined camping for me now. There were some beautiful moments. 
in the, the army forest. yeah yeah sure well that was actually but you know the you first were first time that i had ever been in like a real forest mm-hmm. like most of the forests in texas are like you know conifers and stuff so you don't really get the leaves changing and all that but being out there in the fall with all the colors uh, is kind of pretty especially mm-hmm. with the sun rising and the dew on the leaves <laughs> the jinx was not in the army anywhere near as long as me and she didn't do like real like real field problems either no not like, like month long I yeah think the longest we did was like 12 days yeah and so like you go out there for a month it's uh it's rough it was really freaking cold though <laughs> yep um now like in negative 22 wind chill now in the regular army you don't typically go that much in winter like go out and fill problems that much you still do but typically you have a you have like cycles in the army and uh in brag we had the the red cycle red cycle was like when everybody like cleaned up the base and stuff and i think there's two red cycles and one of them was in the the winter area winter time so it was like more doing like details or whatever and so it wasn't as bad yeah i feel like we're gonna walk a little bit faster here guys because I think the uh, white-tailed deer probably got away from us here. And we're just, like, moving super slow for the forest for nothing. And, um, unfortunately, I do think we probably lost the blood trail, too. Yeah. I feel like it ran up this hill somewhere, but that could be anywhere. There's so many trees. It's just so difficult. It just... Shrubbery. The highlighting is not strong enough, yeah. in my opinion. I mean, there's some white-tailed deer marks. But, um... We don't even know how like old it is, or you gotta lick it because <laughs> that tells you how, how old tracks are, Jinx. Mm -hmm. The Jinx is our, our master tracker or here. Smush the dirt between your fingers. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> so she's gonna teach us all about how to be a master tracker, guys. Yeah. I watched Daryl do it. On the Walking Dead. <laughs> on the Walking Dead, yeah. <laughs> A lot of people comment about his tracking and how unrealistic it is. But yeah, it's silly. Yeah, that's. I suppose that's one issue I have. I mean, it is a hunting simulator, so, like, let's be honest, like, a, you know, a special breed of people play these type of games, so they probably won't agree with me. But I feel like the highlighting, give me the option to highlight a little bit stronger. Yeah. Maybe I'm just blind. Let me cheat a little. In my, yeah, I'm definitely Because, like, I can't see the, many of these marks. I just feel like it needs to be, I don't know, a little more detailed, a little more clear to see. Or give me that option to turn that on and make it a little bit easier to see. The birds are telling on you. I know. I feel like they're all snitches. Like he's over here. But, yeah, no, uh, no blood in die? some... I can't find yeah, <laughs> no blood in some time, guys. So yeah, I think we definitely did lose the the blood trail. I was just hoping going up the hill we'd find it. True, we'd at least get a better vantage point. Mhm. Mm it's a big old hill though. I feel like there's something up there. Something up yonder. Oh, a log. <laughs> I mean, we can go head up to the hill, and, and there's a good chance, with especially with how far you can see in this game, there's a good chance you might just find something. At this point, I kind of just want to get a kill on camera, because we haven't killed anything. Like other we than need the, to just kill something. Just kill something at this point. Yeah. I saw something marked over there. Oh. That's one of those bushes. Feeding <laughs> bushes. So this is where they eat. Yep. So That's what eats here? Dancing bush. Dancing bush. L oh, the white-tailed white deer eat here often. Mm -hmm. This is probably where they're at. Something else marked here as well. Oh, it's just all the eating zone. Oh, they eat all this. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they eat all this area. So those white-tailed deer that we were creeping up on and and we alerted and they ran off. I expect that this is what they were doing. They're up here on the top of the hill eating, and then we spooked them. Aww. Just trying to enjoy a good meal. They didn't get to finish their breakfast. No. Their tummies are going to be all grumbly. Mm-hmm. I can't but eat breakfast. They're alive, Jinx. That's they're true. They're alive. That's what matters. For now. Well, as long as I'm the only hunter in this forest, <laughs> it's going to remain that way. 
Yeah, it's a bummer we lost the blood trail. Again, it's just so difficult to, to find the blood. If you're just sprinting around and not really worried about it, maybe you can track it easier. But yeah, if you're going slow, it's just like, it's so difficult. All right, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and just assume that we lost that kill, guys. And we'll just blame Jinx. It's easier that way, guys. That's the way I live my life. I just blame her for everything. It's your fault. Everything's my fault. <laughs> But you know what? The fun is my fault too, so I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just try and find something to, to hunt, guys. See if we can't get something. Just gonna shoot something. Yeah, yeah, whatever we can find. We need the collars. We do. It would be nice to have a collar. It'd be easier to find them. Uh, and I suppose we have some extra funds. So um. And some pee. I don't think there's pee in the game, Jinx. Well, there should be. I don't think there's any urine. Sprinkle all over yourself. <laughs> yeah, I think um, if we had a collar, it would be a little bit easier to find them. But even then, these these animals are easy to spook. And they're not calling each other. I hear some birds. But I never hear anything else. It's a bummer that they seem to like... You can shoot them and they seem to live. Fairly a uh, long time, if not always. They seem to... You know, I don't know how many of these guys I've shot, and I don't find their corpses anywhere. Now, that might be because I just suck at finding corpses. But uh, it could also simply be because they just no don't corpses. they don't die easily. Yeah. Or there's a zombie outbreak, and as soon as they die, they turn. They turn a zombie? Yeah. When they go after their deer friends? There's a forest full of zombie deer. Yeah, and that's a possibility as well. But then it's got to be like the Walking Dead style of zombie where... And you got to turn immediately. Where you're... Oh, I meant more like you're... They don't turn immediately. I meant more like... They do when it's convenient. Yeah. I mean, they're very inconsistent on when they turn in that, <laughs> that show. But no, I meant more that there are... Everything is infected. Or not everything, but all the humans are infected. Yeah. Like if you die of then anything. You, yeah. Then, then you, you turn. turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably moving too fast right now. But again... I just feel like you just can't creep at that speed, man. Unless you're actually, um, unless you actually found something. This place is huge. Yeah, yeah, it's a big old map. I, I mean, like all of this. Now. Yeah, like all of this is explorable. Like all of that. Like this barely huge. made a dent in it. Yeah, can you imagine like walking through all this? I regret not shooting that fox now, by the way, too. Aww. Poor fox. Well, I mean, because the deer got away. I mean, I guess he would have been nice to have in your your collection. Yeah, I would have shot the fox if I knew those were mule deer. But yeah, I didn't find out that until after we had already gotten past the fox. But I had a good shot on the fox, guys. But of course, shooting him would have, uh, you know, would have alerted all the deer of my presence. But yeah, we know that there are deer in this area. Lots of deer in this area, in fact. So yeah, this is a really good spot for hunting deer. Yeah, like this whole zone is whitetail. Yeah, well, mule deer as well. But we've seen uh, we've seen a lot of signs of their presence. I wonder if they get along. The mule and white deer. Yeah, or if they have like a rivalry. Have like dance offs with mm -hmm. each other and stuff. I'd pay to see that. With their antlers. Uh huh. Yeah, I'd definitely pay. To see you a meal dan dance see me off. Do my antler dance. Jinx is doing the <laughs> antler dance. I can confirm. Yeah, I was kind of hoping like look down the mountain, but it didn't really work exactly the way I expected. All right, guys. So we've been playing off camera for a while. Ever. Forever. Yeah, going up along the rivers, trying to get you know a potential kill. And while we did find many deer. And I was able to creep up on some of them. They they kept getting alerted, unfortunately. They're too easily spooked. Yeah. Um, a big problem with one of the rivers we were on is it was like we were just constantly uh, upwind. Even when I went the other way on the river, then the wind changed. So right now we got what looks like a moose, which means we probably can't kill it. Looks like a baby moose, though. What I was going to do is just go for the headshot, and obviously that's not optimum, but... Just so we can get a kill here. I think the best way to do it would be from up, up top there. Maybe would have the best. Maybe, but she's not looking over here. True. But I feel like if we shot from this far, 
we'd most definitely miss. Where's the lookout? <laughs> well, she might be alone. I'm not seeing any other critters. I mean, maybe. I mean, I guess if we went... I don't really know what the distance is here. Let me just take a peek real quick. Back in this here. I mean, I guess if we just went, like, here... And shot it in the head... That's actually a mel deer, uh, mel moose. Is it? You see the, yeah, there's some antlers on it. Baby antlers? No, you don't see those? Like right there? I see ears. Oh, damn it. I got so distracted trying to show you the antlers and I didn't, uh, check the range on it. And I can't seem to get the range finder out. Here we go. Alright, it's around 120 or so. Alright, so we should be able to just keep it as is. And then again, we're going to go for the headshot because we've already shot one of these before with no success. Because I don't think the rifle's powerful enough. So again, we'll go for the headshot just to get a kill here. She's fine. Oh, and that didn't even kill. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. bugged and it just won't die <laughs> there we go so we had to shoot it three times with this one probably uh really mucked up the um bleeding out mm -hmm. probably really mucked up the meat here guys He's like, uh, but it's uh, finally dead we got him so we, we got a kill guys oh no, it's back up a, he's got a second wind <laughs> okay i see the antlers now yeah oh what the hell guy well, I think that, again, there there was like a resting period, but that was not very long, as you can see, guys. I could have took another shot at it, but I'm trying not to, like, destroy the corpse. And, I mean, it's bleeding everywhere. Yeah, we shot it right here. It got out. It ran up this way. I saw some blood somewhere around here. Here we go. That's okay. That's just where the moose drinks. And yeah, I'm just not sure how it could have got away after all those shots. Oh, oh here is. we is. Yeah, here we go. He so died in a bush. We finally got one, guys. I was going to say, like, there's no way that thing got away. But it had, like, a, a third wind, I suppose. <laughs> He's not dead yet. <laughs> He's probably still alive now. So sometimes, this is another thing I note, is sometimes it can be kind of tricky um, to claim the animal. you got to kind of move around a little bit. Um, so we're going to claim it here. Obviously, we we tore it to shreds, guys. Uh, we shot it three times. Uh, you can see each shot, though, uh, where you hit. Um, the damage you did. I wanted to show this. We were here on... I'm trying to remember how to zoom into the bullet. Yeah, we are here in episode three, so I really wanted to show this whole mechanic. And how you can see inside. Like, look at that. It's really cool. So you can see its lungs in there. Um, so with the... Lungs. Yeah, so with the first shot... I'm not sure. I think we missed everything. You got that important. <laughs> I don't think we did. I did think we not? just missed it. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. If we had hit that artery, I think it would have died you know, with the first shot. Uh, but that was not the case. So that was the first shot where I was aiming for the head. He damaged the artery. And I didn't even get it. No, we didn't. You can see on the... It shows you right there what you hit. Yeah, you but the concussive. I don't think we hit it, Jinx. Again, it shows right there what you hit. We didn't okay. hit it. So, uh, yeah. We hit the deer, or hit the moose right there. And then it, um, went out on the side. So I was aiming for the head and I missed the head. Which is crazy. Big ol' head and I missed it. <laughs> well, he's got that giant gullet. So that was the first shot where we're just shooting randomly. Here's the second shot. This one goes into the lung, as you can see, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Get it really close to this. But again, this is this uh, just really cool mechanic they got here. Uh, you can see the stomach as well. If you hit the stomach, y you mess it all up. Uh, also, the blood will have like green stuff in it. That's how you know you hit the stomach. Um, so that's where we hit the rib. I think, maybe? It says we hit bone. And then went into the, the right lung there. And... Looks like it... 
did not hit the the other lung. It says, hmm. It says we didn't, but it's pulsating like we did hit the other one. Anyways, we got the lungs, guys. So that was probably the killing shot right there. Would have eventually killed it at some point. Yeah, we did hit the right lung. Or, excuse me, the uh, the left lung. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. On the little meter there. Whatever reason, it doesn't say that, though. Uh, so that's the, the second shot. And then here's the third shot, which shouldn't have been necessary, honestly, but it just kept on going. So we shot it again. And this one looks like another lung shot. So two in the lung, guys. Two in the lungs. So yeah, this one was from the side here. As it was running. Broke through the rib, perhaps, right there. And then hit the lung again. So those are the three shots we took. Um, again, it's not going to be a high trophy rating. Um, it's it's one one star here, guys. But this was also... <laughs> we got a kill. It was also a young male. I think we'll probably just sell it for the money. I'm not really proud of this shot, honestly. Yeah. Um, as you can see, it shows you like the animal weight and how much of the meat you lost because of your shot. Uh, now, again, we shot it three times. Um, so... We only get to sell, of the 582 pounds, uh, we lose 155 pounds due to the, the three shots wrecking the meat. And so we can only sell 427 pounds at the market price of 1.18 per pound. And that's where we get this total sell price of 504. So yeah, you can see the, the runaway distance, like how far they got away. You know, if you had to track them, 72 yards, that's all you got here. Uh, and 11 minutes tracking time, which was so long because I didn't know where he's at. Uh, but yeah. That was first kill. It's a little ridiculous here. <laughs> now, more than one shot would have been necessary no matter what, guys. Just because of the, the gun we were using. I mean, maybe if I had gotten into the... I don't even know if it would have broke through his skull. It should have. But yeah, if we'd got the brain shot, one shot might have been enough. I don't know, though. A, one shot hitting those lungs could have bled it out. You'd have to chase it for a while, but... Yeah, or one of those arteries at least. You're yeah. pretty close. Yeah, it was pretty close. But yeah, I think more than one shot with this rifle was going to be necessary to take the moose out anyways. But yeah, it wasn't terrible, guys. The hunt rating's four stars. So not uh, not the five stars, which is typically what you get. Because, I mean, just if you shoot it once. Well, I'm glad we were able to show this part here, guys. Uh, and, and show what it looks like. Again, we will not be taxiderming it. Uh, you can tell from the antlers that it's a young, young one. Uh, so yeah, we don't we don't taxidermy this one. We're just gonna go ahead and sell it and get the money. So I'm happy we were able to get a kill here after roaming down the river for quite some time. For about days. Uh, of real time, I think it was about 40 minutes or so of roaming down the river. Uh, we actually well, we stumbled on like four or five sets of deer, uh, but unfortunately, I only had where I could get a shot with two of them. And then, yeah, the, the wind got us on one because we were upwind of it. And they detected, and I took the shot and hit one, but it didn't die. So I think I got the, a back shot or something like that. We tried tracking it, see if we could find it. We would show you guys uh, that we got to kill that, that way, but unfortunately could not find it. I don't think I, I, don't think I killed it, honestly. Well, once they start running, they are gone. Yeah, they are fast. And then uh, the other one, I got it really close. And man, I don't know, I think I might have been, um, I don't know, zeroed at the wrong, the wrong number or something. Because I felt like I had the shot on this buck. Yeah, it just, it just didn't hit him. It didn't hit him at all. Uh, so that was the other one we missed, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, there's been some, some failures, guys. But we got a moose. That's what's important. We got a kill here in episode 3, finally. Uh, that wasn't a bird, I mean. And, um, I think for the next episode, I'll, I'll again try and set us up, at least in the beginning. So we can kind of, like, slowly move towards a kill or something. I don't know. We'll <laughs> see, guys. I'd like to hunt something a little different, but we actually haven't killed a deer yet, and we have the mission to kill deer, so... I think that's what we might do. Try and find the deer before we start next episode. And then... And there's the ducks. <laughs> but yeah, then try and get a kill, um... You know, sneak up to it on camera so you guys can see if I mess it up. Uh, so at least, uh, at least you'll see an animal in the beginning of the episode. So that's the plan. Uh, again, the, these games are, uh, you know, they're difficult. Uh, sometimes they get the kills. That's kind of part of their uh, their charm. 
I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.